Hello everybody, welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake and I have a very fun video for you today. I randomly went to a Walmart because a little birdie told me that I might be able to find some $5 steelbooks in the bargain bins. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, some of these I have, some of these I don't. I was able to make my way with a few goodies here. And yeah, there's a lot of Lionsgate slipcover steelbooks. Spoilers for the video you're about to see in a couple minutes. But it's crazy. Um, it's absolutely nuts how we are just being bombarded with amazing steelbooks at Walmart. I love to see it myself. If you love the same thing, make sure you like, subscribe, follow all of my stuff here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All that fun jazz. But to get to the real fun, let's go to Walmart. See you there. Bye. Woo. So, hey, everybody. Jake here. It's a very impromptu video at Walmart today because I was just going to look at their steelbook section. But uh, you see behind me, you see the two for 10 deal bargain bin. I always look because you never know what you're going to find. And I'm so glad I did today. $5 steelbooks, folks. $5 steelbooks. Let me show you every single thing they have in here. There's not a lot. I mean, there is a lot, but there's like one or two of each. So I don't know how plentiful Walmarts are going to be. So I would go as quick as you can because there are a lot of goodies in here. Let me show you some. I have already kind of dug and found what I found. There's a couple reprints in here, but these are all the steelbooks that are here, folks. A lot of Lionsgate goodness. First off, we have Requiem for a freaking Dream. Are you kidding me? Like a lot of these are bangers and I do know that this is Best Buy stock that they just bought for pennies on the dollar and now they're selling them for five bucks. Next one here, Total Recall Arnold Schwarzenegger. This steel book is an absolute gem if you are able to find it, especially for five bucks. You cannot go wrong with this sucker. Third one we have here. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. A lot of these were never really on sale sale. They came out full price for the $34.99 when they originally came out. Now you can get them for five bucks. I have this steelbook. I have not seen it yet, but the steelbook does look good. Next up, we have Hunter Killer. Again, another steelbook that I have. This was in the bargain bins before, but again, for $5, even if you have not seen the movie yet, it's kind of hard to pass up. Same with Robin Hood. Got Taron Edgerton. You got Jamie Foxx in here. Is this a good movie? I don't know, but it's in my collection and it can be in yours too for cheap. I already showed you Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, but here's a random one. The Walking Dead, the complete eighth season for $5 for a complete season of television. This one's hard to pass up. If I didn't own this already, this would be coming home with me, but hopefully somebody else at this store picks it up. Next one we have here is Saw. Yes, another great Lionsgate slipcover steelbook. It's so weird to see these in bargain bins. It's never gonna not be weird because to get them for this cheap is crazy. This is just Blu-ray, but I love the steelbook. I love both versions of the steelbook Lionsgate did with both Sicario in 4K and Blu-ray. This Blu-ray one looks magnificent. Again, a lot of these, I, I'm going to be a broken record here because they are some great steel books. And if you don't own them, $5 is a no brainer. This one, I wish I could, you know what? I'll cut to what this one looks like in my collection because behind the slip cover here is some very good goodness. You can kind of see the blues peeking out right there. But yeah, belly, an unspoken steel book that needs to get more love. We have a few more here. Spiral from the Book of Saw. We talked about the first saw. Here is the ninth saw. Again, this one didn't really go on sale that often, so to find it for $5 is pretty crazy. Next, we have Three from Hell, another very cool looking steel book. The movie's okay, but the steel book is better than the movie, in my opinion. We have John Wick Chapter 2. This was on sale at Best Buy for like $8, so to get it for five is still a good deal. And last but not least, the original John Wick. Again, just a lot of great steelbooks here. It's still crazy to see these out in the wild. So I was about to go because I thought I saw all of them, but I did a little bit more digging and I found, well, I just found another song, but I found another one. The 4K of Sicario. No one talks about this steelbook and it's one of the unsung heroes in my collection. The embossing and debossing on this sucker are amazing. Go check your Walmarts, folks. And since we are here, we might as well look at the steelbook section in itself. And yeah, sucker's looking nice. A little bit less full than the last time I saw it last week, but still not bad. I wonder when they are going to put new titles out here. I guess we will continue to play the waiting game and see. Ooh, TMNT Mutant Mayhem wasn't there last time. Should I pick this up? Maybe. Oh God, that's tempting. There's only one left. Oh my God. So now we are back. 
from that glorious Walmart trip. I love how they just kind of snuck attack and surprise bombed us with some glorious cheap $5 seal books. Of course, this is from the Best Buy surplus of stuff because they're not selling physical media anymore. You're not gonna get deals like this for too much longer. So I would honestly just recommend rushing out to your nearest Walmart and seeing what's in the bargain bin. It's always fun to dig for that stuff anyway. But I picked up three titles. Let me show you the ones that I got. The first one, I've heard nothing about this movie, good or bad. Chaos Walking, starring Daisy Ridley and Tom Hollinger. Jesus, Tom Tom Hilland. Tom Spider-Man. Tom Tom Holland. Tom Holland, there it is. My brain died for a second. Well, here is the front and back cover of this. It's another Lionsgate seal book that I did not have, so I had to add it to the collection. I'm trying to get a complete set of every single steel book that they have put out. There is the inside and disc artwork here. Have you seen Chaos Walking with Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland? I cannot believe I forgot his frickin' name. Very embarrassing, but we're doing it live. One take here. Next one, um, I'm just noticing right now that the slipcover is kind of, a, kind of a hot mess. You see the corners up here? I guess that's what you get for $5, but this is Dirty Dancing, and I'm okay with it not being in like the most best condition just because I didn't pay the most for it. And I'm not the biggest fan of Dirty Dancing. I just got it to complete the collection. Push this down. Look at that shadowy silhouette. That looks gorgeous. I mean, all of these Lionsgate Steel books, man, they put so much time and care into these releases. Here we go. Here, oh, there's even a dent in there too, man. Those bargain bins, I tell you what, they are going to just get ramshackled and thrown everywhere. This is going to happen a lot. I saw a picture online to where these weren't in the bargain bins. These were actually out on like a display and they all said $5 on them. Ideally, that would be the way to go, but there's just going to be a whole bunch of holes because people are going to grab those very quickly. But here's the front and back to this. And then we have, you know, classic scene, Jennifer Grey, Patrick Swayze. Didn't forget those names for some reason. Again, I still can't believe I forgot Tom Holland. But oh well, here we go. And, ooh, this might have been a second pressing on here. There's no uh, first pressing on this steel book. I don't think they did one for Chaos Walking. Because if you notice on a lot of Lionsgate steel books, they put first pressing on here. Wow, is this a reprint? There's no way they reprinted Chaos Walking. Highly, highly doubt that. But the last title I got is the one I'm probably most ex excited for because I do love this show, but I didn't own any of it on uh, physical media. Man, they put a ton of glue on the back of this J card. Jesus, I'm gonna rip this J card off. Okay, here we go. Ash vs. Evil Dead season two. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've only seen the first two seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead, but I love all things Evil Dead. So there's, there's the glue that's still stuck on there. I don't know if you can see it. If I am able to add to my ever-growing Evil Dead collection, especially for so cheap, I'm gonna do it. Here's the disc artwork. I kinda wanna show off what this looks like on the inside. Yeah, this is a very nice one shot of a lot of the characters in here. Um, very solid show. I, I enjoyed Ash vs. Evil Dead a lot more than I thought I was going to. I thought this was gonna be just like your average run-of-the-mill uh, Evil Dead show, but it's not, it, it actually like, has some of that it kind of blends good stuff from uh army of darkness like a lot of like the comical aspects along with some of like the the horror tropes that are known for like one and two in the franchise so yeah ash for evil dead season two for five bucks absolutely and uh yeah i i'm setting up a new display like this is fine for these videos but i kind of want to have like a, a better looking shot for background behind me my plan is to put all of my boutique labels behind me and then like certain sets of steel books like i want to put my mondos i want to put my Lionsgate steel books just have it look all nice and organized behind me so yeah i'm trying to get as many Lionsgate steel books as i have i probably own like 85 90 percent there's one in the bargain bins now that i'm gonna go to a couple more walmarts so hopefully i can find moonfall i don't have moonfall i've heard very uh Four things about the movie Moonfall, but for five bucks, I'm grabbing it, putting it in the collection. But thank you for letting me grab your time, the 10, 15 minutes, however long this video was, and just going shopping. 
<laughs> me for movies. Isn't that the best feeling in the world, folks? Um, if you think it is, make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff on the channel here. Trying to grow the channel as much as I can. Um, sneak preview. I am going to do a review, a full breakdown of the Super Mario Brothers 4K Umbrella Entertainment box set. Here, here, here just a second. Let, let me show you what the box set looks like. Going back in handheld mode here. Here is the glorious gorgeousness of the Super Mario Brothers box set. This thing weighs eight to 10 pounds easily. There is so much stuff, not only in the box, but on the discs too. There are like, there are three discs. One disc is just full of special features of like behind the scenes tidbits, all that fun stuff. I'll be breaking that down in a future video. If you like to see reviews of Blu-ray 4K releases, make sure to give me a follow again. And once again, jerk motion. Thanks. Okay, uh, bye.